the blob you expect to see in 2022. The blob Laurentia talks about. Hey everyone, I'm Lorenz and in this video I'm going to talk about all the blob games on the Wii. The blob is amazing. In the game you play as a blob of color and you have to paint the world to restore Chroma City to the colors it once had before it got invaded. The premise of the game is very simple, just touch grey objects and restore their color. But that doesn't mean that the game is repetitive. In fact, because the game has such tight controls and so many creative level designs, you're going to have an amazing time playing the game. Also the cutscenes are humorous and the music is great. When you enter a world, you have a score counter. If you're a casual gamer, you just roam around and paint buildings and you should do fine to progress in the game. But if you're hardcore, there are challenges for you to unlock and other side missions. There are 10 huge maps in the game you have to color, the game takes you around 10 hours to beat, you can even play split screen matches with a friend, overall, I recommend you the blob on the Wii. It's a hidden gem. The blob 2 expands on the formula, and the game is different while it still feels the same. Let me explain. A difference between the first game and this one is that here you press A to jump instead of flinging the Wii mode. And pressing a button to jump is much better than flinging the Wii mode. It's more precise. Also the game is much more easier. Even little kids can finish the game easily. Okay, the first one was easy too, but that one felt more finicky compared to the second one. And another novelty are the side-scrolling levels, which are pretty good and manage to add more variety to the gameplay. Also, once you get gravity fields and color manipulation, the levels become even better. There are also power-ups to collect, collectibles, and overall, it feels like the same game, but made more complex. And this is a job well done. I've reviewed countless of games where the ambition to add more to the formula ruined the sequel. This one doesn't. The Blob 2 is awesome, and if you liked the first game, you're going to like the second game too. And I also have a bonus one for you. A Boy and His Blob is an old NES game reinvented. And I say reinvented because the two look like two completely different games. First off, the visuals. The hand-drawn cute animations never get old. The game is gorgeous and even has some lighting and particle effects that will amaze you. Gameplay wise, the game is a platformer and mostly a puzzle game. You have to choose a bean and throw it, and then the blob will transform into something. There are 15 different ways the blob can transform. The controls are a little complex because there are so many button presses involved into the process of making the blob transform, but still, the game is amazing. It's an amazing puzzle platformer that you shouldn't miss out on.